What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit PDF documents directly on your iPhone on iOS 14.3, 14.5, 13, and so on. So with PDF element, you will be able to edit any PDF file you have, and of course, fix typos or add pages or highlight or do any sort of modifications to your document. This is basically the companion application for the PDF element on macOS or Windows, but it does the same thing, only that it's portable. So how do you get it though? Well, it's available on the App Store, you just have to search for PDF Element, it's usually very high up in search, and it's this one here. There are two different versions, you have PDF Element Lite, which is free, and then you have PDF Element, which is the bigger, much better version, that's actually quite great, because it allows you to edit PDF, to add files, to add text, and so on, to everything in here. So you can install it, and once you have it, you can open it, and of course, here you can create documents, or open the ones you have. Now on the Create New, you have the option to create a new folder, to scan a document, to import from files, from photos, from computer, or to create a new empty file. Yes, you can create a new empty file and you can select which type of paper you want, from black to line, to grid, to dotted, graph, or music. But if you already have one, like I do here, for example this links term paper, you can basically edit the file that you already have. And as you can see here on this paper, it's basically some general information about the linkses, about what a links is. However, I would like to add more color to it, I would like to make it better, and also I would like to fix a typo. As you probably know, the PDF documents are not made to be edited. Once you create a PDF file, it's usually like a photo, you cannot edit it anymore. It's not usually an editable format, and there are tools that can edit them, for example the Adobe ones, but those are extremely expensive, compared to PDF element, which is rather affordable. So I open here this file, which normally would not be editable, I would have to redo it, and as you can see there is a typo. Instead of saying the smallest species are the bobcat, I actually said the smallest species, so I would want to fix that one in there, but this is not an editable document, so how would I do that? Well, PDF Element has you covered. There is this little text button here, you press it, and you're now in the text editing mode. You can add text, or you can edit the text. So I can now select the smallest here, which of course is a typo, I can remove it, and now I can write smallest and that's it. And I press done, and you can see that it followed the same font, and it followed the same size, and now the document no longer has that typo, which is completely great. You can of course use this to add more text as you please. So for example, if I forgot to sign myself at the end of this document, I can go ahead in here, leave a couple of spaces, and sign with Johnson George. So that's basically it. So of course you can do that pretty easily. Then if you exit the text mode, you can see that your document keeps the changes. You can also highlight by pressing that button there, and you can even choose what color the highlight will be. So for example, you can choose the ones that are commonly used, like yellow or red or purple and so on, or you get the color wheel and choose whatever color you want here for your highlighting, so you can have multiple colors in there. I'm going to use this red though, so at this point I can highlight whatever I want. You can either highlight text by words, or you can press here on this little marker, and this one allows you to highlight whatever you want, no matter if it's a word or an empty space, and of course it's exactly like a real marker. And of course you can underline and so on, so if I want for example to underline the word links here, I select it, and of course I can either highlight it, or I can underline it. It gives you the option to make the document much more colorful. You can also add photos, and you can tap where you want to add the photo. In this case I have this cat here, even though it's not a links, and of course you can resize it and add it wherever you want, you can center it, and so on, so it's actually quite great. Now in here you have other options as well, you can save as flatten, you can optimize the PDF, you can even set a password, for example I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again, and you can set a password to this document, so anybody who wants to open it would have to enter the password first, if you want to protect the data. You can remove it after that if you want to. It also shows the information about the page as well, if you want to see it, also the tool that was used to make it, and so on. So it has a lot of options here, you can also choose the scroll direction from the vertical to horizontal, you can choose the brightness here, you can enable scrolling, two page view, and keep iPhone awake, those are some settings if you're trying to read a PDF document. Then you have here comments, you can add comments and so on to the document, you can add bookmarks to the document, and of course it's as simple as that, and you can also view all the pages on the document, and then you can save it and that's it. So now you can see this is a protected document, and before we can open it we need to input the password, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I'm gonna unlock it and that's it. So it's actually quite 
quite a great tool if you want to edit PDFs on the fly. And if you pair this with PDF element on the computer, we're going to have a pretty great PDF editing tool. So definitely check it out here on the App Store. It can do a lot of things from scanning documents to organizing PDF files to cloud transfer and you know editing and so on. You can also fill forms with this as they advertise here. So yeah, definitely check it out. Thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow. Until the next time, peace out.